Hello friends, uh, today I want to uh, speak and show how a conventional PCR works. So you know that PCR is one of the most powerful technologies in the molecular biology and it is an amplification technique for regions of DNA or RNA that uh, has a noun sequence or lies within two uh, regions of noun sequences. Uh, PCR or polymerase chain reaction uses uh, oligonucleotide primers for and levers and also DNTPs and tag polymerase to um, amplify and extend the DNA or RNA of interest. So in this video I want to practically show how a conventional PCR work and how we can prepare the samples for amplification. So let's see. The first step is to prepare the boil lysis and uh, for that first off you need to take culture tubes and uh, label with the isolate number and then you need to have double distilled water and add 100 microliter of double distilled water in each tube. So I added uh, 100 microliter of double distilled water in each of these culture tubes that are labeled with the, with the corresponding uh, isolates. So now you need to take a full loop of the um, isolates that we are sure they are pure and uh, they are also refreshed on the blood plates in order to make sure they have expressed genes and genes that were in dormant during the preservatory time. I'll take a full loop of Lactrio and then inoculate to the culture tube. The one. So once you mm, done with inoculating the bacterial isolates to the culture tubes that contain double distilled water, the next thing you need to do is to vortex them. Mix the bacteria with the water properly. And now I need to boil the samples at 100 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And now it is already preheated to 100 degrees Celsius. I just need to put my samples here. Just take care that the plates are very hot. So this uh, heating will um, lyse the bacterial cell wall and uh, cause the nucleic acids to uh, free uh, out of the bacterial cell and float uh, in the tube that we can take these for amplification. And once the job done, I take my samples from here and now we need to centrifuge uh, these just make sure to keep the balance in the centrifuge on the both sides
to huge D's or 13 K RPM for two minutes. Okay. The huge job is done, and our bolt lights are ready. Okay, the bolt light is ready, and now you can take the super matant from bolt light and transfer to the other tube with the corresponding label. After we prepared our boil lysate, it, it is the time to prepare the master mix. So for the master mix, we need a forward primer, reverse primer, and also PCR water. So 1.5 microliter of forward primers times to a number of our samples. I have 24 samples plus two positive and negative controls and plus four I think for the um, pipette error pipette error so totally 30 sample times 1.5 we need 45 microliter of forward primer and the same calculation for the reverse primer again 30 times 1.5 equal to 45 microliter and PCR water we need 19 microliter of PCR water for each sample so 19 microliter times 24 samples to uh, positive negative control plus four pipette error so 570 microliter of PCR uh, water okay let's do that in a alcohol hold uh, cool I took the forward and reverse primers for the gene that I want to amplify and put them on ice and also the PCR water I label one empty culture tube as the master mix and now I'm going to add the exact amount from each forward and reverse primer as well as the PCR water as I calculated earlier in this master mix tube so Okay, let's start with the water. 517 microliter of PCR water. I take this and transfer to the to my master mix tube. And then I need 45 microliter from each primer. Add that to my master mix. And the reader's final. Okay, and 
Vortex my master mix. Now my master mix is ready. A typical PCR reagent includes PCR buffer, magnesium chloride, DNTPs, forward primer, reverse primer, type polymerase, and uh, also our sample DNA. So we have our sample DNA here, and also we have our master mix of the forward and reverse primer. About the type polymerase and PCR buffers and DNTPs, I'm going to use the bed tubes and bed tubes already includes these. So I do not need to add any type polymerase or DNTPs or other PCR buffer. So once we prepared our master mix and vortex that, uh, the next step is to add 22 microliter of the master mix, our master mix to each of our bed tubes. After adding the master mix 22 microliter to each bed tube, now we should add 3 microliter of our boil lysate to each of the bed tubes corresponding with their label. For my positive control, I just need to take 3 microliter of the noun CMY positive that I have already recovered that and know that this is a CMY producing E. coli. So I took 3 microliter of this and added to my positive control bed to you. And for the negative control, I just need to uh, take 3 microliter from the PCR water and put in the uh, bed tube as my negative control. Bed tubes are now ready. They have everything that was required for the PCR uh, reagent to have. And before putting them in the thermocycler, make sure that the cups are uh, tight enough and also try to spin them for a couple of seconds. Okay, now it is ready that put into the thermocycler, the PCR machine. PCR has three phases. The first phase is the denaturation phase, and the temperature is equal to 95 degrees Celsius, and this phase causes the double-stranded DNA to melt into a single-stranded DNA and the second phase is annealing the temperature uh, for this stage is uh, 60 de degrees Celsius and this causes the complementary sequences to hybridize and the third phase is the extension phase that the tag polymerase will extend the primers at a rate of almost 100 base pair per second. Let's do and select the PCR job. Three phases and and start the run. So it takes one hour and twenty six minutes 
for the PCR job to be done. The PCR job is now done and it has produced more than a million copies of the DNA of interest that I am looking for. So this was how a conventional PCR works. My, the, my PCR products outputs are now ready for the post PCR analysis. And in my next video, you can watch for the gel electrophoresis, how I can analyze the results of PCR with gel electrophoresis. Thank you for watching.